Hey, how's it going? YouTube, this is Nick Ross here with Body of Legends coming at you guys with a shoulder workout from World Gym Grand Cayman Cayman Islands. I feel like I have to keep saying that because guys ask me what part of the U.S. I'm from. I'm not from the U.S. I don't live in the U.S. I live on an island in the Caribbean. I know it's not typical for a fitness YouTuber to come from an island, but it is what it is if you guys are still wondering, which a lot of you are. But anyways, uh, like I say, man, doing a shoulder workout right here. Um, this is not typical for me to do shoulders by themselves. In fact, I never do shoulders by themselves. Shoulders for me are very uh, powerful body part. Shoulders and traps. Probably my best body part I have on my whole physique. But I decided to change things up a little bit. Uh, get shoulders here very own day. And it was actually a pretty good workout. You know, I kind of miss doing shoulders because typically I would do shoulders at the end of my chest workout. Or I'll do some side laterals with some great out flies at the end of my back workout. So this is a real different feel for me. Um, but like I said, it went pretty good. Start out with some dumbbell pressing. And in my opinion, I mean, you don't even need pressing for the shoulders. You know, to be honest, my best, uh, the best portion of the workout was the uh, side laterals and the radial out flies. That is where I felt more the burn, the contraction, the squeezing. I felt uh, more fibers being utilized, I guess you can say, doing the the flies and laterals as opposed to just doing overhead pressing. Now, I still incorporate the pressing because I want to keep my strength there. Um, I want to keep the muscle full. I want to add the thickness. But, you know, you can do a whole shoulder workout without doing any kind of pressing. I mean, you can do a bunch of laterals and a bunch of isolation and you'll have an amazing workout. Shoulders aren't a body part where you just need to hammer with a lot of heavy weight. Uh, you see it here in the screen right now I'm doing um you know I, I guess you can call it face pulls but I have the band hook up to the captain chair machine where you typically do abs. Um, just doing a burnout set at the end of my shoulder pressing. Just kind of add more volume to the rear delts. Now moving on to laterals, man. I love laterals. I guess I'm swinging a little bit. Um, I didn't really notice it too much. I thought my form was pretty on point, but you know, a tad, you know, back and forth, not going to kill me. It is what it is. I'm still working the muscle. That's the big point. A lot of people are a little too strict with form. Oh, you need to maintain perfect textbook posture. I'm going to tell you right now, that's impossible. There's no way that any individual can maintain perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean completely setting straight posture, doing anything. Um, first of all, there's gravity. Gravity pulls us forward and down. So that's a struggle much less we're working against resistance, which is the weight themselves. That's another factor. And we can talk about height, width, um, weight in front of us versus weight in back of us. You know, we do what we can, right? We really do what we can. And as long as the muscle's being hit, as long as you feel the contraction, as long as you feel the squeeze, as long as the muscle is being targeted, then at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what your form really is, okay? I mean, swing if you want, if you're killing the muscle and you're getting results, then hey man, do what you gotta do. Do your thing. I'm not gonna recommend you swinging, but if it works for you, like I said, do what you gotta do. Now I did a lot of a lot of um, side laterals in this workout. A lot of laterals, man. Like I love laterals. Probably uh, top five, definitely, in my favorite workouts or my favorite exercises ever. Try to keep dumbbells more on the side of me and just concentrate on just repping it out. Probably did about, I don't even know, six sets of laterals all together. Finish off with some rear delts here. Now, this is not typical, man. Notice how high my hands are on the machine, okay? I actually saw Charles Glass doing this to Sean Roden a few months ago, and I gave it a try, and it felt freaking amazing. I've never, ever, ever felt rear delt contraction like that from anything else, okay? If you have any issue with your rear delts, go to your rear delt machine, turn around, and just raise your hands up a little bit and I guarantee you it will burn, okay? Anyways, guys, that's the workout there. Um, just giving guys a quick little update on the weight loss. I uh, started this uh, little mini cut at 215. Right now I'm two, 205, so what is that, 11 pounds in about four weeks. It's still pretty good. I want to get down to about 190, so, you know, I'm almost there. 13 pounds away from where I want to be. And I feel pretty good about it, man, on the diet. It is what it is, but I'm getting the results, and I'm making it happen. All right, guys, Nick Ross, Body of Legends. See you next time.